I really wasn't going to record this stuff, but uh, it's so original. You guys are blessed, really, really blessed. I, see, I read here that Butcher left heartbreaking note as he closes 170 years old business after running out of money. Smoked bacon. He was involved in MK Ultra, you know. But what I, what actually struck me is that uh, his bills during the energy crisis went from six hundred dollars per month. That's by the way, that's a lot of money. Oh, six hundred dollars per month just for the energy bills. It's a whole a lot of money. Uh, to three thousand pounds. Wow, at the height of the energy crisis. All right, so uh, I'm sure that you guys are going to miss him, miss his 170 years old shop. Uh, he did left you a note that uh, where he explains that he simply, you know, simply ran out of the money. So let's hope that he's going to get his energy bills money. And he's going to simply reopen <laughs> the shop. Okay, smoked bacon. But there is another smoked bacon in Britain that popped up just yesterday. And uh, that one involves the issue that is chasing me everywhere. <laughs> I see a uh, husband. Not completely identical issue, uh, but a husband of Gabriela Windsor uh, died at age 45. There you go. There you have it. Uh, a daughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent has died. There you go. And he gave me a beautiful smile right there. It's a little bit cheesy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see what else. And uh, there is some memories for you. You're going to keep. You can put that in a frame. You can frame that. Some beautiful photos you have. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. And um, Gabriela Windsor is free. There you go. She is in a whale, ready for the marriage. Chidi boom, chidi boom, chidi boom. She is about 42 years old, and the beauty is as new, as good as new. There you go. Uh, born in 1981, and um, I was so much interested in this girl back in the day, and apparently that she was so much interested in me. Back in the day, she would visit the Novo Mesto, where they would deliver me from the United States of America. And then I, I would visit her in even in Argentina. Uh, and then I would visit the two. Um, however, not the husband, the present husband who passed away, but with... Uh, Atish, Atish Tazir, Tazir, Tazir. There you go. Uh, they made a beautiful couple. And um, it seems like also did not last uh, for whatever reason. Uh, regardless of how much I wanted to jump her in the pants during MKUltra, however, 
uh, it appears that uh, not it appears obviously I was not good enough I was just um, an evil Nazi and Nazi is what I was and it was all about the Nazism and Nazism and Nazism this was the stuff that went on in what did you date it in what in 2000s Mistake I do, Micah. What a mistake I do, Micah. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. It's got to be on a humorous side. Come on. This is going I under entertainment in my book. Uh, personal life. In early 2000s, she dated a journalist. Uh, Atish Tasir, I hope I pronounced it uh, properly. Uh, but me being racist, nothing happened. Simply nothing happened. The whole sky went down on me with the Queen Elizabeth. But uh, Gabriella Windsor was not the only sweetheart, you know. Uh, she was very busy dating. Uh, first the journalist, and then beginning the 2000 and, uh, 2010, she started to date a peasant husband who unfortunately uh, it says it passed away there you go ah there you go thomas kingston like that song kingston town he was a by the way man of casio 91 A devoted, a devoted Casio 91. Wow. And it's already something that made him better man than myself. There you go. Except that he had the metal one, the, the metal band. I saw that stuff, don't worry, from the internet. Just I'm saying that he did have this stuff since from forever. This this was his watch. This stuff he I saw him wearing one time. This watch. This is the stuff. This is the watch that he would continue to wear. So we're definitely talking about the right person in that case. I'm just being really a bit humorous today, looking at this dead on a bright side. Not because Lady Gabriella would put the whale on it uh, and not because is she is seen in the public with this beautiful whale smile so nice no 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 not, not, not because of that well, for one thing, I know that he did not die. No, I'm going to try to show you a picture where it can be seen that he's a, a Casio 91. A picture that I have seen yesterday. Now, yesterday I've seen some good photos of it. Um, yeah whatever that will be um anyhow um he became a successful uh, negotiator uh, let's see this stuff here I don't want that Casio 91 to stay there. The watch I don't really want. But, um, yeah, I did like this. I wanted to see. I don't actually, I do not bother with uh, Royal Circle. Would you believe this? 
I did not even notice this photo. This is the note that shocked me. Uh, that's a paper. Yes, uh, Peeper Middleton also was interested in me. It is beautiful, but it also it did not also did not work out because you know I was just so racist. I was just a, such a fascist and Nazi. Evil is what I was. <laughs> it just didn't work out. Every time I screw it up, the things you know. A lot, a lot, a lot of really, really pretty ladies, uh, and you know I just. Fuck it up everything. What can I say? I was one fuck up. Obviously a big fuck up. Let's see this stuff here, here, I don't know, we go down here. So um exceptional man in the center. Ah hell we have thing, you know. F boss. Who was? This must be the one. This must be the one that I clicked yesterday. Okay, if I would at least get those photos, that shit. I don't get anything. Look. And then maybe I will get something out of it. No. No. Yeah, yesterday I saw Andrew in a photo like this. He was smiling. He had a big smile all over the face. Big smile all over the face. You just gotta love these photos. So unique. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. He is a finally happy, jolly, in a good humor. Uh, Camilla, he doesn't look too happy. Oh, well, you know. Ah. <sighs> Uh, nice postcards that were also involved in a Keatra. Uh, at least you don't have to wear a cone. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, I just. Uh, I think uh, it says something like Derby Share or something like that. He's from. Thomas Kington, a British financier who was husband of Lady Gabriela, died at age 45. Uh, where was uh, uh, Thomas Kington found? Uh, Gloucester, Gloucester, that Gloucester, he was fine in a Gloucester. Yeah, this is the first issue I'm gonna clarify here. You know, the real reason is not a Gloucester, I'm video recording this stuff. Why would Thomas leave to Gloucester? As a matter of fact, you know something, I'm actually um, mistaken. I think I'm mistaken. I'm not sure if I'm mistaken or not. Yeah, I think I am. I am mistaken about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, out of my memory, okay, out of my memory, I'm going to say to you like this. Uh, he frequently would leave. But yeah, yeah, to Gloucester. Yes, 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 yes. But um, he has a family up north somewhere, and I don't know where. I don't know where exactly. He does have a family someplace up north, I think. I don't know. Is it like what is it? I mean, is it like? Birmingham, Nottingham, it could be Manchester, Leeds, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Up north from London, further than, uh, than these cottages here that you see. And basically, he would travel to that place a lot. He would travel by himself 
Every weekend he would go to that location. What the hell was he doing? I hope that's not it. No, I'm thinking about, you know, actually hold on a moment. Oh, that's a tricky one. I'm actually mistaken. He does have a family here in this Gloucester, not up north. Um, but this is a bit, 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 bit confusing. This is where the Lady Gabriella Kingston would deliver me together with her hubby. Yeah, but but here's the catch. Here's the thing. Um. Why well, should be remembering this stuff? They, they they bought some cottage cottage here, whatever it is. But here's the thing. Here's something else here about all this stuff. Um, I don't know what. I have no idea what. But he would frequently travel. No, he doesn't have any family here. Uh, the two bought a cottage here, from what I recall. But he does have a family up north, like I have stated properly. He does have a family somewhere, who knows, maybe in a naughty Ingham, a Nottingham, uh, something like this, maybe, who knows. Yeah, I'm just going to go between the Birmingham and Manchester. I'm just going to throw the dot into the Nottingham, because it's kind of naughty, maybe, name. Derby, Nottingham, Sheffield, bam, right there somewhere. That's where he got the family. Some family he got there. But the thing about it is, he would travel. Um, he would travel through the Britain, maybe because maybe it was the money thing. I think it was. He would go to and stay in the hotels. Uh, but I'm under suspicion about that he would travel money wise he would he would make trips he would make trips but the thing is that he would travel on saturday and sunday that um, he would have presentations he would do some kind of presentations and stuff like that but the thing is that that would be in different locations throughout the britain i recall Oh, because this we go way back in time. Uh, but the thing is that not when it comes to, no, 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 when it comes to Nottingham, when it comes to Sheffield, no, no, no. Um, I think he had, um, that he had, it was something to do with the family, that he has some, some family members from there, something like that. And the thing is that one time they found him in some, uh, uh, Something like, uh, who the hell knows? Maybe a country club or uh, maybe, a, uh, I think like more like a hotel type of setting. Uh, or it could be, I, I really do not know. A family setting, whatever it was. And actually, actually, it was not a hotel. It definitely was not a hotel because it was, it's like like a country house maybe or something like that. Or and it's probably it, you know, uh, or house something in that sense. And they found him unconscious, but it happened so in 2013 in 2013 ladies and gentlemen that's 11 years ago and the lady gabriella um was in shock because the two started to date seriously in 2011 that's basically about the year earlier than what i was thrown into the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. I was listed as good as dead. The fucking evil Nazi, it was just time to get rid of me. Me being evil, you know what I mean? Ah, so much stuff I did to this 
the royal people so much pain and suffering and caused them so you know it was just time to get rid of me uh they worked on it however my entire life and what also makes things interesting is that once i left the united states of america in 2006 they wanted to get rid of me bad with the queen elizabeth like it was kind of strange i mean i gotta give her credit for the other daughter granddaughter oh my god that's not exactly granddaughter or no wait a minute um Now, tick, 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 tick. Scroll down a little bit. So we have a catalog here. Nice. Very nice. And um, uh, her name was Azara Tyndall. The Zara Tyndall was my last chance. I was told, this, this is your last chance. But... <laughs> I don't think I had a chance. Um, and the two got married in 2011. Uh, that's basically with the Mike Tyndall. The two got married in 2011. And in 2011 is basically when a dating between um, Lady Windsor Gabriella became serious with Mr. Thomas Kingston and you know um check this out 2011 the two got married in 2012 I got thrown into psychiatric hospital uh for Zara Tyndall a Queen Elizabeth shed her tears to Milan Kuchan about him mercilessly not allowing for the matrimony between the Zara Tyndall and myself to take place a long time ago back in um oh uh, this goes way back in time who knows maybe 2005 The point about this stuff is it makes no fucking sense. Zero fucking sense. And if there was anything other than lies here involving this stuff, um, yeah, I don't give anything. No. Because it's just so worthless. So disgusting. That... I'm a too much of a person, worthy, decent, good person that I don't deserve myself to humiliate myself in absolutely any way. It was enough of it for me. Um, he had proven himself to be valuable as some kind of negotiator. This is how they jump-started the career. Uh, they just noticed that Gabriella is interested in one. The next thing you see, this is basically how they do it. The next thing you see is he becomes a negotiator. Uh, then it, it's the business that opens to him. The doors open to him. He becomes a financier banker. It just It's just like... Uh, and that's why, that's why my life was not so rosy. My life was really not so color paved with the roses. And, and we don't fit. We are not, we are from two different worlds. One is mine. It's called realistic, real. And then there is that imaginary twilight bullshit. 
that I have absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, it also goes to show that Britain, what Britain really is, is a country, is a state, is a nation. I think it's a lot of state of the cows, if anything. I mean, with a flip of the with a flip of the finger, like this, he said in two thousand and. 16, he stated, in 2016. What's interesting is, he was not impressed with a beautiful lady he got for the wife. It's kind of strange. I mean, to me, she was really beautiful. And he was not impressed with her, really. Like, after two years of marriage, he contemplated on something else, somewhere else, somehow, some way away, he was not interested. He was not there. He was mentally not present there. He was just really not happy about it, for one thing. And in 2016, 2016, he told her, uh, enlist me there too. And uh, to his wife, uh, to become... Lady Gabriella Windsor. The two got married finally in 2017. I saw it. The two finally got married in 2017. Oh, look at that! There is not a not a not a page dedicated to Thomas uh, to Thomas uh, Kingston. Oh shit! No man. The two got married in 2019. Oh, boy, this is actually in 2019 the two got married. Oh, she was 56 in the line of succession uh, when she, at her birth and uh, actually 18. Now she's the 56th one. Really, really, really impressive. Truly, truly impressive. I mean, how did that, how is that possible? I mean, if I can ask, I mean, how is that possible? It's like waiting line that is just getting longer and longer. Uh, all right, that's that's in a royal world. That's the way it works. Um, it, already, I think that this 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 whole the, the, this whole system. I, I think it's uh, it's incredible. That's what I think. Uh, it's a, it's it's one scam, and it's not Nigerian scam, uh, but it's a scam atop of the scam, a lie atop of the lie. Now let me see that. Lady Gabriella Brister University financier Tom Henry Robin Kingston. Um, uh, Robin, Mr. Thomas. Uh, Henry Robin Kingston was a very, very polite man, by the way. No, 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 no. I'm not here to say that this guy was uh, not a nice... I'm not going to say that he was nice. Uh, he was cheesy. Uh, but he did carry himself like a, like a civilized man, I'm going to say. He refused to... Uh, to to go down into some kind of I don't recall him actually doing something bad to me. Mm, I would even say I don't think he was even naughty or something like that. It's a Nottingham that he's got a family from, but I don't recall this guy that he would be doing something um, opposed to all other royals. He did carry it himself. He did not go down into... I don't recall. At least I didn't... But I also did not investigate much. All right? I didn't go through much. I didn't go through much of it. But I don't recall him ever that he would go personally, that he would go and do something that would be meaningful to him in a, in a bad sense to me. Something that I cannot say 
uh, about not even a husband of Sarah Tyndall. Mike Tyndall did some crazy shit. And then he completely changed his views and so on and so forth. But, you know, um, this man here, uh, whose father I remember and know, he carried himself in a very, very uh, normal way. Um, his father lost temper with me, whatever, but he did not. You know, this is one of the... I would say this is basically, um, you know, um, for me to properly express myself, just uh, civilized and uh, mentally, I would say, um, I, I would say he was a mentally... Uh, stable person this is so for me to properly express myself no i don't think that the rest of you are mentally stable is it, this is the point the point is that mental stability is proven with the, such a simple things like i stated right now like i'm not gonna say taking advantage of somebody that is drugged up obviously uh rather what i say right now rather exposes a greater extent of mental instability in these people. But this man refused to. He just, he was like in his own world. He was just smart enough to avoid everything and just go away. Uh, I cannot even say the same for his family members. But I know for him that he refused. Even his father's calls to do something bad to me. His father scolds to do something bad to me. I think he's got a brother too. No, I did not investigate that issue. My internet service provider is going to confirm this. So there will be a brother of Thomas Kingston. Let's see that. And that one is actually all blonde, I think. Let me see that stuff. See if that is the case. This is that, come on, should be dedicated something like, you know, this is, uh, you know, Wikipedia page and siblings dedicated to, to this gentleman here, just like this, such a quickie, come on, that's, that's not nice, but look at that, there's no, there's no information about that, you guys go and find out for me, if he does have a brother, which I think he does, um, I had a feeling like actually even two brothers, but okay, brother. Then the royal family, Miss Gabriela. Uh, Thomas on our beloved husband, son, and brother. Damn, there you go. Thomas Kingston, our beloved husband and brother. But don't tell me it's just a sister. Brother. Our beloved husband, son, and brother. Tom was exceptional man. Should be joined same day, said, man, bam, bam, bam. Was found in an address in uh, Gloucestershire on February. Oh, uh, Gloucestershire. Um, what's the deal with this Gloucestershire? Uh, the deal is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We know now the whole thing. Now I'm a little closer to it. Okay. The two did bought this property that uh, Gabriella wanted 
long time ago already. She set an eye on it. I did travel there with Charles, and uh, there was this this house, uh, like this old houses and this and that. But no, there was a house that they renovated this house, everything new inside of this house. So then uh, the two bought this house in. Uh, I assume, uh, I, yeah, because the two also had me there during the renovation and all this construction, whatever it was. So this is this is like a new housing. Oh my God! 2006 is where the Charles began to smell the Gloucester area. 2005, uh, Gloucestershire. 2005, 2004, Charles started to smell. 2005, 2006, probably transaction took place, something like that. And so then we are talking about, uh, we go to about exactly 2008, 2010, the two have finished. 2011, the latest, the two have finished this, uh, whatever the construction that was. You understand me? And the two had a residence over there, Gloucestershire. This was the address they they must have found him. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we go down here, and then we go. It says here what? Uh, you know, the sisters also have brothers. We have to be careful with this stuff. Much love, member family. Um, beloved husband, son. A beloved son, husband, son, and brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this? Is this going to work? Mr. King and his survived, but his father, his mother, Geo, Mary. Kingston and his sisters Joanna Canali and Emma Murray. Yeah, 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 yeah. But oh, what is this here? No, this is not the probably the same. Two sisters. Two sisters, and it appears like he has no brothers. William Kingston, Jew, Mary Kingston, Joanna Kennedy, and Marie, Lady Gabriella, siblings, Joanna Kennedy, Emma, Murray. Okay, well. Hometown London, but he does have a family, like I told you, in an area of Sheffield, I'm going to say. All right, so I suppose that in that case, in that case that I suppose that uh, I did not fuck it up anything. Um... This was uh, this this is this is still the, the George Bush that got him this job here for Iraq for the Baghdad negotiate and this and that. Prince uh, Andrew. Um, it pissed me off. Honestly, it pissed me off uh, that some used car dealer salesman got a title for a hostage negotiators in Baghdad and you know just would walk on the palms of this politicians elites royals while I was actually biting at dust I got to bite bricks and it was more and more kinds of people in front of me just cutting right in front of me uh, and Doing a stuff like I stated, I mean, there's nothing else here to say. In Britain, you don't have to worry about the word, net word, or anything. This is 
you know, it's abstract. It's, everything is like abstract. You know what I mean? It's not, it, it appears like it's not only in Britain. It's also elsewhere. It's, everything is abstract, you know? Like abstract art. You don't have to worry about it. But I do worry about it. I'm not that easy. I know what the fucking money is. I know what the fucking money means. I know what the fucking money can do to you. If you have it, and when you don't have it, it appears to me that the two guys, really blonde, light-haired guys, you know, about boyfriends from the sisters, husbands from the sisters, whatever. And they were not really his brothers. I was interested in his sisters. Uh, and... I came out as a completely as a dork. Laughing at me, etc., etc., etc. Humiliation, total, total crap. The one who requested Thomas. To get involved in a torture against me that it was financially profitable was his father and Thomas still refused to do so so I do want to thank him for that matter I'm gonna say thank you I'm gonna say thank you for this matter um, he didn't have a particular good opinion about me he did that I was mentally retarded, I think. Uh, and uh, did sort of indicated this by demonstrating me his watch, which was this Casio 91, that he's going to have this kind of stuff and that I will be looking for more expensive stuff. But maybe on the other hand, this behind this cheesy smiles and behind this Casio 91 watch uh, is actually, I think it was a good intention because I wasn't nice to him either. I, I, uh, I pull all kinds of stuff on him and uh, so that I could get in the pants of uh, Gabriella, basically. That's why I was kind of, even nasty with the grooms, basically. If I liked the, the female, I would give them all kinds of compliments. Uh, sometimes I would even turn the table around. And <laughs> I would play vice versa by trying to convince grooms that the brides I was trying to jump in the pants previously are not worthy shit. You understand me? So that I would maybe try back my luck and so on and so forth. I would do that kind of stuff during MKR. It's all kinds of stuff I would do. I'm not hiding anything from anybody. I'm saying the way it was, basically. You know, I tried. I tried. I tried my luck. So there was no luck. And when I consider this guy... No, I actually think this guy had a purely good intentions for me. I don't think this guy had any bad intentions for me. Um, I think that he was trying to signal me that they're going to do stuff to me with the watches and stuff like this, and that I should just stick to the cheap watch and fuck it and forget about it, which you can get from AliExpress for like two, two dollars, two euros, the watch like that. So um, if he was a dick, he would... He would pull some expensive watch or something like this, like, like let's say, Prince Andrew did all the time uh, and Flash, that kind of stuff. But the thing is that, you know, I never was any different than, than, uh, than a Thomas. I could buy myself a Rolex if I wanted to. Uh, I used to sell watches in Miami. Uh, I had a 
store with my ex-wife. Actually, my ex-wife had a store. Uh, and we would sell watches in there. And the most expensive watch I ever would purchase for myself would be a wholesale price. Like a Casio edifice for like $30 I used to pay. And I would not pay a fucking cent, a dime more than that for the watch, basically. And I even hated that one. I didn't even want to put that one on my hand. I never was sick with the watches. I never cared about it. But through the harassment, through the torture they involved in Slovenia, uh, eventually by destroying me absolutely everything, without allowing me to even possess anything, not even a fucking watch for $2, uh, I started to express interest in repairing the watch. And then I started to get interested in, uh, through the fixing watch, I started to get interested more in types of watches and stuff like that. I still would not go beyond, I'm telling you guys, beyond $30, not even for the smart watch, I would go beyond that price. I'm going to put it that way. And for $30, you better have a camera on or something like that, that I can make use of it. Otherwise, absolutely not. For me, the watches... They all range up to five bucks, two, three dollars watches, just like for uh, Thomas, for me also serve the purpose. I'm going to put it this way. I get them from AliExpress, whatever. So that's all there is about watches. I figure out that the watch that is a Rolex watch long time ago, even Seiko, Automatic or whatever it might be, the beautiful watch, uh, a single scratch decimates the value of the watch. It costs repairs. It it costs just if you buy the Rolex, you put one on hand, a little sweat you make, and the watch is worth instead of ten thousand dollar is worth two thousand. Uh and you know somebody can steal that watch to you. They have stolen watches from me by destroying me uh, those uh, that holds the belt. It became a frequent method of the police investigators by causing me damage on uh, on the belts in a such a way so that the watch would simply fall off my hand. And that became their fashion. Uh, so they stole me several watches like this. Uh, they were stealing me watches, all kinds of watches, and so on. And they were destroying me at large watches. Um, it's a difference. If you lose two, three dollar worth watch, that is just as good as the one for, or probably better than the one for ten thousand dollars. Some kind of crazy Rolex or something like that. Uh, they can steal it to you. Whatever they do to you, you can lose one, whatever it might be. Easily can happen to you. Uh, to anyone. Uh, they, they can rob you, whatever. At any time, any place. Uh, it's a big difference. Huge difference, if you ask me. When you have no regrets whatsoever for something, and when you are materialistically, mentally ill to the degree that you go and you compromise yourself to what becomes losers is what they say a collection. It becomes a watch collection. The watch collection becomes the same case like with the cars that people purchase, they purchase the car and then the car is loses its value it used to be case with some cars i'm not going to name this and then people would miserably keep those cars driving them still because they would lose so much they would be embarrassed and they would continue to use that and drive and push those fucking cars no matter what to prove the world different uh no no out of question um, this guy here, um,
apparently from what i was told this guy here apparently from what i was told uh begun to date uh, Gabriela Windsor, well, well, we have to be completely, completely frank about what went on. Um, um, at the request of Queen Elizabeth and uh, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew, because I was a, such a neo-Nazi, racist, bigot, you name it, evil I was. And so he is, um, he was born in England, but he does have some uh, he should have some oh, there you go, maybe from India okay and so therefore to get the suspicion of the royals, because I was a, such a nasty piece of work uh, she had to date him alright, so she had to date him um, but for that matter to um he was chosen because uh, he looked a lot like a Mel Gibson. Is what I uh, They present me like Mel Gibson. He looks like a Mel Gibson. There you go. And, well, always a better man out there than myself. Uh, they, this, this did go probably to year 2000. 2000, something like this. She was barely, I don't think she was 18 when they presented me to her like a future bride, like this, this is your wife and so on, this is going to be your wife and so on. And then all of a sudden, eh, it's another person that is on the picture. Let's give you Mel Gibson. There is a Mel Gibson right there. There you go. So Mel Gibson and... You know, and they go, Ta -da. you know, uh, fuck it, nothing ugly, nothing like me, nothing on the picture, nothing like that. So, you know, so then the life went on, the life, the years turned, tick, tick, tick. Um, I don't know what happened here. Uh, I think that what is this is exactly the opposite that happened. Uh, that he realized that he found himself actually in like very, very, very racist environment. And it wasn't only me. It, it appears that it was more than just me. He found himself in a very, very racist environment. Uh, and he no longer wanted to proceed the relationship. And so unlucky unlucky gabriella lost her first boyfriend first love but there was more love already in argentina uh so um you know how can i say mm, not such a lonely girl i would say i don't think that any of these royal cuties that are that that pose as single no 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 i don't think they're so lonely I would not I would not say that they are so lonely. Um, not so many lonely broken hearts really. Not so much broken. No, not so much heartbroken. Gabriella Windsor also became a poet. Uh, there is some songs. Rep rep rep. I did not go through that stuff. Don't we don't mean we don't have so much stuff to throw away time so much like that. No, no, no. Um, there you go, Ella Windsor. So in 2019, she got married, you know, guys. Be careful with this. Don't do the stuff I do. Uh, ad blockers violate YouTube terms and service. There you go. And you can make the video on how to save people a hassle in respect to, well, 
the stuff that I demonstrated. <laughs> There you go. This is um, this is before tomorrow, okay. But I like that one. You know, this is a three days ago a honey field. So wow, and then before tomorrow. And uh, let's see this stuff here. <laughs> Sometimes the juggernauts come and they stun you and stop you right there in your tracks. God knows they muddle things, I know it's troubling when you feel under attack. Let the meridian settle the way and remember it might be alright. You know, uh, yesterday I saw that song, uh, You Are No Good. You Are No good and uh, I don't know I was you know I was she told me that if I will be no good that I would be no good and so on yeah, and so where is that song yeah so she had some song she released you're no good but that was the song six months ago but fuck it you know when you become good that means when you survive a psychiatric hospital and uh, you become somebody that you're going to become so fucking good like nobody else in this world before. There you go, it says right there, out of blue, uh, honey fields, out of blue, bam, bam, put the sea this morning, mm, almost, bam, bam. But not quite bam, bam. This is what I followed yesterday, this link here. This is what I have gone through this one here out of blue i am taking time guys to do this stuff i do oh it's registered under ella gilbert i will demonstrate you exactly what i have seen yesterday and what i have not seen yesterday and so you're no good you're no good if i would be no good i would be no good she started with this kind of stuff in Argentina that's like long 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 ago after she graduated in Britain her high school uh, she proceeded Argentina was it uh, high school or even a university degree that she she got a university degree absolutely uh, but um, what I need to see is something else she got her university degree together When was it? 2004, Gabriela graduated from Brown University. Yeah, then she proceeded to Argentina. Argentina. What? Um... In 2018, he wrote a controversial article about his relationship with man. It took him a long time to 
to get that done. Some of you might actually think I'm mentally retarded for doing this stuff, and this is when I'm going to close this down. I really don't have time to waste like this. Because the thing is, the point here is I want to make a point. This does not participate, uh, pertains to her only. I want to make point about this to all the royals that had females involved in it, in lice, in nothing other than lice. Uh... I never was any Nazi. I never had any problems with racial, ethnic, discriminatory issues in real life. But the MK Ultra was nothing other than about the multi-ethnic violence that British royals have involved through the world of corruption against me through MK Ultra. As much as I responded to the violence that was introduced against me through MK Ultra is totally impossible because I have seen people going insane over smallest little issues, losing their lives for as smallest, lightest offenses they would experience uh, when compared to racism I endured on my own skin from all backgrounds, diversities, uh, social letters, uh, social <clears throat> different people, different standings. And I'm not taking it personally. I'm not taking it personally. I'm not taking anything that took place against me that was done by the black people or Asian people or uh, what else do we have in this world? I don't know. Um, American natives uh, or uh, Eskimos or uh, you name it. I didn't take any offense of it. I deemed that people who did this stuff of other racial backgrounds, uh, especially when considering what they were exposed to, uh, if they really did this to cause a racial friction and uh, discomfort, they really engaged out of hatred. They committed, obviously, they committed hate crimes. Uh, they're just uh, mentally disadvantaged. They just need, really are in need of uh, psychological and uh, psychiatric assistance. Basically, that's the way I feel. If they have done it for other than corruption, I feel sorry for you. If you don't know what the torture person is, what the torture is, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you. Then you're mentally ill, obviously. So I took no offense to that stuff, to put it plain and simple. Um, how much of that stuff was involved in it? That's what uh, about uh, when it comes to MK Ultra, uh, when it comes to torture, and it's of course the white people were just as involved in it, um, less but just also involved in it. About 90% of MK Ultra was dedicated to the torture, trauma, in terms of torture. 10% was dedicated to some other issues that would be used to post next to me. But 90% of MK Ultra, at least 90, at least 90% of MK Ultra consisted of torture, trauma, inducing trauma to somebody, causing trauma traumatized, molest, molest, molesting people, harrowing people, <clears throat> and even far beyond that stuff. So that's the stuff I do not uh, take <clears throat> personally. Also, obviously, to protect my mental health. 
uh, will not allow myself to get to the level of Donald Trump, something like this, Joe Biden or something like that, um, or Barack Obama or something like that. There, is, there was mentally ill people without any doubt in it. Uh, they did sicken me enough at one point in my life to have taken for the worst. Unfortunately, I really started, it accumulated so much of this in me that in 2011, 2010, uh, I started to see this world in a very, very extremist way due to so much racism, bigotry that went on that eventually it, uh, it started to pull me down uh, into beliefs that I'm a victim of racial discrimination, racism, and uh, the, the world is just really an evil place with those, yeah, I had a good reason in it, that should definitely stop it, that were victims to this stuff from the past and have instead taken initiative in assisting this organized crime. I was never wrong. I don't have anything to admit. I don't have anything to recognize. I don't have anything to apologize to anybody for. Uh, in this matter, I am the judge, the ultimate judge. Lady Gabriella Kingston, according to Prince, now King Charles was one of the last sweethearts that the Royal House of Windsor would offer to me. And by God, if I would miss this one, and then I would be fucked. Uh, British Royals pointed out it's a fascism in Italy raising. Uh, Slovenia would have a war with Italy uh, and eventually I would find myself in my life even as a nobody and nothing and homeless uh, with nothing other left than memories on how, however, uh, there was a chance in my life of becoming a husband of Lady Gabriella Kingston. And you can imagine this stuff is being done in a, such a disgusting way that I did not receive any kind of proposition, proposal, or anything like this from anybody. And I'm forced basically to brag about this bullshit uh, to avoid some serious consequences because of such a crazy, criminally insane people that British keep at the top of their hierarchy in Britain, in London, so to say. That's how nasty this stuff actually is. I would not even waste one word on this issue when it comes to Gabriella Kingston and her husband, who voluntarily have listed himself accordingly with the incident from 2013. Mm, why do I feel that um, the whole thing was worse than just, especially because the two started to date in 2008 seriously? Why did it took them 11 years to get married, basically? You know, if I would say and would not touch the date of the marriage when the two got married and stuff like this, I would, I would sound like a, I, like a paranoid schizophrenic. Like I said, nasty, evil, criminally insane people at the top of the British hierarchy uh, makes things... I'm not going to say difficult for me because I am past that, you know, that postcard that uh, oh, they, they keep advertising this stuff here and she's, it's funny because she's in this way, like on the day she got married, not interested here. I have not a slightest interest in any marriage, in any kind of relationship with the British royals. And it did not stop with the Gabriella Kingston and all other cuties.
Lady Louise of Windsor is 20 years old, came on a picture as my future bride when she was 12 years old. They started to patiently profile me if she would fit the requirements of my wife, which is actually goes into the area of the pedophilia. It does not make me uncomfortable. I have no intentions whatsoever to have absolutely anything with this tree from Britain. Uh, but this is just a warning about the scumbaggery that I dealt with, that at present I am still dealing with. I still do not get this thing solved. And what is there for me to say other than to wish these two beautiful birds uh, to soon come together? Is a, uh, Gabriela stated me uh, if I would not express interest in her soon, she would join either join him or whatever that she would do or she, whoever she has and so on in a very similar fashion file for uh, fake death certificate. They're using any kind of issues from the past they have experienced. Uh, and or if in case of the man I presented you earlier, I demonstrated you, Kenneth Michael, so any kind of irregularities, I have no idea uh, what Mr. Kingston had problem with. Uh, he, however, had this problem already for a very long time. It first time they found him unconscious in some hotel up north. I think it was actually a hotel up north. And, and uh, I'm actually not even sure if it was a hotel. If it was not some, some it, was, it was some hotel in, in, the, in, the, in this um, in the northern part as I demonstrated north of this it must be Sheffield it was some hotel that we would go to that I would go with 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 Gabriella and uh, with Thomas all the time the two would take me to some hotel I don't know why the fuck they had me along that's crazy I mean the two had much uh, good time together and uh, they would deliver me to the certain areas where they would do with me whatever they were pleased. And uh, then I would stay with the two and so on. And and actually, I don't find the word for this stuff. Uh, yeah. The psychiatric pills, I'm afraid, are not the healthiest thing for your darling. Uh, to me, personally, to me, this is out of the fucking horror movie or something like that. This is, this is bizarre. It's insane. Uh, definitely, it's totally insensitive. It's bestial. Uh... It's a good scenario for the Twilight Zone movies. I don't know if they still make them the series, uh, but these people are straight out of the fucking Twilight Zone. They they are straight out of some fucking horror movie. In my case, as I stated, is closer to the case of the pedophilia. It started when I was nine months old. Pedophilia was involved in it. Uh, and these molesters did not stop short, uh, even at what became age 52. I am beyond disgusted with this. I don't know what I would tell you. He had a problem, very serious problem, and does not want to be, as he told me, this is going to be the case, he stated to me in 2019. 
he's going to file for what you see right there because his health very very seriously however deteriorated unlike in the case of thomas thomas is actually doing really well um i don't know his relationship totally totally cooled off sometimes in sometimes in 2013 I have not noticed anymore any kind of flame between the two. I don't know how this worked out, this stuff. I don't understand any of it. To me, it looked like he cooled off, like there was like, maybe he was horrified because of what went on with me. I would still say I like this guy. Um, I think it was sensitive, and I think he did not like the case of psychiatry against me. I think he didn't like the whole fucking picture even a bit. I think he was actually concerned for me. I think he's a nice guy, this guy. I would give this guy his thumbs up. I like him. Maybe this is the best royal that I know of that was part of this royal community. And, uh, well, he's listed as good as dead now. So... Whatever he's going to do, wherever he's going to do, I wish him a good luck. I wish him the best of luck. Um, that being said, that's all I have to say for this video on basically how they get this kind of news going. why this kind of news what what's happening with this kind of stuff well you know it's happening um thomas alone explained to me that he will be used to empower to encourage they would have like hollywood people like top people file for death certificates so they would encourage according to the British Royals as many people that were involved in MK Ultra to file for death certificates in other words they would want the least as possible witnesses about crime against me to be out on a plain side that's why the death of Mr. Thomas uh, husband of Ella Windsor, Mr. Thomas Kingston, and I speculate also something else. Uh, one look at the views, the numbers of views I had uh, within the last, I don't know, 30 days, and you can see that numbers picked up here on a 26, uh, quite large. It says here 34 views that I had. Um, actually, February the, the, the 22nd, this is not 1,000. Uh, the 23rd, 2,300. 3,000 almost on 24. Uh, 5,000 on February the 25th, um, 26, 2,700, uh, 4,600 yesterday on the 27. So it doesn't come to me as a surprise because they want this kind of videos. They want attention. They, they're doing their best basically to get attention away. They want this kind of video. They want this kind of stuff. And of course, you're going to love the news that you have read this week because this is the news that will charter our lives, regardless of where you are from.
multiply the number 5000 with who knows how many people really maybe 33 million maybe 42 million maybe 420 million maybe 330 million 33 views not Hitler didn't want to uh, exterminate the Jews at the time. Let's keep it real, ladies and gentlemen. When you start to reveal this kind of stuff, when you start to go in depth, when you start to prove your case beyond of a doubt, when somebody like this start to knock on the door, that you cannot close the door and say, oh no, that's not true. I would also want to get married with a guy like this. And you got to love this institution, by the way. Institution where you enter as a husband and the next thing Nobody knows anymore where you are, etc., 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 where you are, what you are doing, what happened. It's like Alice of Wonderland. You enter into marriage, and it's like abracadabra. Hop, 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 chiriboom, 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 like I said at the beginning of the video, and you no longer exist. Surreal world, the world of the twilight zone. You got to love it. I'm not surprised about it. I'm totally, totally not surprised. And I'm also taking this warning from... Now, King Charles, very, very serious in respect to Italy, his intentions towards Slovenia. King Charles was promoting fascism and Nazism across the Europe. He did not stop short of coming to Ukraine with and on behalf of Hungarians steer the shit in area of what used to be known as a Bukovina part of Ukraine I would be too interested in marrying a guy like this I would be also interested in marrying a guy like this after 52 years of bestiality if you can't prove him wrong and he proves you being piece of shit. I would be also interested in marrying a guy like this.
There's one thing I also promised you I would do. That basically would be this thing here. Would you believe they had me at this home here in Putonci, that is on the other side of Slovenia, like this? Very nice. What happened with these people here at this Putonci? They don't know what the number for the police is. You can't just dial the number and inform police about a person delivered at your home for elderly out of blue out of nowhere you just don't if i go there am i listed you're gonna have a whole a lot of questions to answer in respect to this issue I was hijacked, that's right. I was hijacked to that location. Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana very, very much was involved in that location in Putonti, in the other side of Slovenia. It appears to me as they, as they, they would be trying to uh, assist them. So this is this is the stuff. This is what you all started that you see right here. Yeah, there you go. There is a watch that he was demonstrating me. I want to make a point about that stuff too. Because no, 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 no. It's important that you that you that we acknowledge this stuff here. No, that's why he referred to this as a as a Casio ninety one and so on. I uh, claim that I was a better guy for her to him during MK Ultra. Um, I think he was a very, very nice guy. I think he's a very, very nice guy. Um, she flirted with me. I was crazy about her. That's a sister from Kate Middleton. Fuck this. I am so happy. I'm so pleased that the things are the way they are. I am so, so, so pleased that you have no idea. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.